The city of dreams is once again set to fulfill dreams. The countdown to one of the most awaited events of the year has begun. So far, the competition for our top 20 finalists have been tough. And now, it's getting more challenging. The big question is, who will represent India at Miss Supranational? And who will win the opportunity to fight for the ultimate crown of Miss Universe? Namaskar! Hello everyone and welcome to Crown Sisters! In today's episode, I give you our Miss Diva 2021 Top 10 Favorites. Before we begin, please make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And please, follow us on our new Instagram and Facebook pages for more frequent pageant updates. With that out of the way, here are our, our top 10 favorites. Starting with our number 10, Lavanya Sangwan. Lavanya from Haryana outshined 17 finalists of Campus Princess 2020 to win the title and in turn bag a direct entry to the prestigious national pageant. Lavanya is not just a model but a role model as she desires to use her influence to be the voice for various philanthropic objectives. <laughs> Joining our leaderboard from the city of warmth, culture, and heritage. At number 9, Sonal Kukreja. This amazing speaker stands 173 centimeters tall. She has an innate ability to express herself, coupled with beautiful facial expressions. Her walk may need improving, but girl, she looks stunning, radiating everything beautiful and melody. Up next, we have Naveli Dashmukh. After five years, she's back. I believe that she has as much right to be here as others. I would have liked to have seen more from her passerella, but she's tall, beautiful, and eloquent, and that can take her further in the competition. Like Pia's journey in 2015, is it going to be the third time lucky for Naveli? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Up next, we have Tarini Kalinga Rayar. Our eco warrior princess is just 22 years old and stands 171 centimeters tall. Tarini has everything going well for her. Her walk, styling, and communication skills all show her full potential. However, her facial expression often shows non descriptive expressions. And for me, this is very important when delivering a message in achieving an overall impact. Next up, we have Ojasbi Shwarma. One of the girls who caught my attention with her introduction video was Ojasbi. She's very expressive when she speaks. At 17, Ojasbi was diagnosed with severe depression, but she used meditation to help overcome the illness. I believe Ojasvi is an exceptionally brave young woman to talk about mental health issues. Miss Diva needs to give her a bigger stage where she will be the voice of the unheard. <laughs> Moving into my top 5, Sidhi Gupta, one of the best speakers this year. Her conversation is genuine, is spontaneous, smooth, and very engaging. She truly connects with the audience when she speaks. Sidhi also carries herself with great poise, grace, and possesses excellent stage presence. Her facial beauty shows many faces. I feel that she's one of the strongest candidates this year. At number 4, from the city of dreams, Akshita Singh. The state-level debater stands 175 centimeters tall. Growing up, she was very shy, but now she's not afraid to speak her mind. This classic, natural Indian beauty has an engaging, warm, and beautiful smile. 
she's certainly commercial with her approachable look. If she can perfect her passerella, I sense a back-to-back -back win for Mumbai. In the third spot, we have Ritika Katnani. She was raised by a single mother who taught her many valuable life lessons. She's showing so much growth and maturity even for a young age. At 19, our former Miss Teen India is the youngest and yet the most prepared candidate in the competition this year. From walk to talk, I think she's a complete package. With proper styling on the finals night, wearing long straight hair, and walking in a long and a confident stride, she could be the third Miss Supernational winner from India. Our number two spot goes to Hana Asandu. At first sight, I thought I was looking at the first Miss International winner for India. I asked myself, is she in the wrong competition? I could be wrong. Looking at her facial features, relaxing aura, elegant walk, strong communication skills, smooth passarella, coupled with sincere dedication and determination to win. I can see a potential winner this year. And finally, our number one spot goes to Ankita Singh. She had me at first hello and literally made me cry during her official intro. Born and raised in the slum, her story reminds me of Miss Universe Vietnam 2018, Ha Hien Ye. Her journey is inspiring. But what excites me the most is her exceptional performance in the competition. For me, she's a pageant unicorn of a high caliber. She is the queen of the diva runway. She has a Miss Universe presence with a supermodel look. I sense Tumbao when she walks, and I like that she registers taller on screen than her actual height. She's not just stunning. With her captivating face, Ankita knows how to deliver a speech using the power of emotions and yet remains sincere. But what excites me the most is her exceptional performance in the competition. For me, she's a pageant unicorn of a high caliber. I can feel that she wants the title badly, and India must give it to her. The universe needs Ankita Singh. Just like Ha Henye, her success story is one that all women need to know about. Ankita is the champion of the poor, an inspiration to many. Of all the candidates, she shines the most. I'm excited for her. I really expect to see her on the Miss Universe stage. Who amongst these girls is your favorite to win the Miss Diva 2021 crown? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to follow us on our new Instagram page, Crown Sisters. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. And always remember, eat whatever you want. And if someone tries to lecture you about your weight, eat them too.